So how do you calculate the perimeter of a circle? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for nine years. And when we think about the perimeter of a circle, it's actually not used as frequently because a perimeter of a circle actually has another name for it. And that is actually the circumference of a circle. That is the mo more widely commonly used notation. So when we think about the perimeter of a circle, the distance around a circle, we are really talking about the circumference of a circle. So that's the formula we're going to be using today. Now, the circumference of a circle is fairly straightforward. It's uh, 2 times pi, which is that famous number 3.14 approximately, times r, which is the radius of a circle. So here's a little case in point. Suppose you have a circle of radius 7, and you want to find the circumference. All you need to do is put the 7 in place of the r. So you will have c is equal to 2 times pi times 7. Now, all you have to do here is because it's all multiplication, just multiply the whole numbers first, 2 times 7, and you'll have 14 pi as the circumference. That means the distance around exactly is 14 pi. But if you want to find a decimal answer, just go ahead and enter 3.14 where the pi is, and you can have a more approximate answer as to the circumference of a circle. Now, the only other thing that they might throw at you when finding the circumference of a circle is if they give you another circle, and let's just say the distance from one end of the circle to the other is 10. Well, in that case, you still need to find the radius, but that's actually pretty straightforward to do because if what the diameter, which is what the distance across is, 10, then the radius has to be half that, which is 5. And to find the circumference there, you just plug in the 5 where the r is, and you have 2 times pi times 5. Again, multiply the whole numbers together. 2 times 5 is 10. And you have the exact value of the circumference being 10 pi. Or if you want to find the decimal answer, just put 3.14 in place of pi to get an idea as to what the approximation is. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's exactly how you find the perimeter or circumference of a circle.